Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using moment distribution method. In this frame, there are two inclined members AB and CD. Also, there is a horizontal member BC. The moment of inertia for AB and CD is 2i and for BC it is i. In AB and CD, there is no load. In BC, we have uniformly distributed load 6 kN per meter. It is acting for the full span. In the joint B, there is a nodal point load 24 kN. It is acting towards the right side. So, in this frame, the sway will occur towards the right side. This frame is symmetrical with respect to the dimensions. Length of BC is given as 4 meter. We have to find the inclined length of AB and CD. Both of them will be same. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, we can use Pythagoras theorem and find the lengths of AB and CD. In the triangle, in the base, we have 3 meter. The height is 4 meter root of 3 square plus 4 square we will get 5 meter since this frame is subjected to survey we have to do the analysis two times first the non survey analysis and then the survey analysis now let us start the non survey analysis in this analysis we assume that in the joint C there is a roller support which prevents the sway. Now let us find the fixed end moments. In the members AB and BC, there is no load. So in these two members, all of the fixed end moments are zero. Now let us find the fixed end moments in the member BC. Here we have uniformly distributed load 6 kN per meter. The formulas to find the fixed end moments are minus wl square upon 12 and positive wl square upon 12. Here w is 6 and l is 4. For m of bc we will get minus 8 and for m of cb we will get positive 8. Now we are going to find the stiffness. In this frame in the ends we have fixed supports and the joints b and c are continuous. In this case, we have to only use the formula 4EI upon L. From the joint B, we have to find two stiffness values for BA and for BC. Length of BA is 5. Let us apply that. The moment of inertia for BA is 2I. So instead of I, we have to apply 2I. Length of BC is 4. Let us apply that. For the stiffness of BA, we will get 1.6 EI and for BC, we will get EI. From the joint C, we have to find two stiffness values for CB and for CD. The stiffness values for BC and CB will be same. Length of CD is 5, let us apply that. And the moment of inertia is 2I. So instead of I, we have to apply 2I. For the stiffness of CD, we will get 1.6 EI. Now let us find sigma k. In the joint B, we have found two k values. We have to add both of them. After adding, we will get 2.6 EI. In the joint C also, we have found two stiffness values. We have to add both of them. After adding, we will get 2.6 EI. Then we can find the distribution factors. The formula is K upon sigma K. Using the formula, we can find the distribution factors. Now let us start making the moment distribution table. In the table, first let us enter all of the members, then the distribution factors, then the fixed end moments. Let us do the first distribution in the joint B. For that, we have to add these two fixed end moments and then multiply with the distribution factors. 
when we do that we are getting negative values so we have to enter them as positive now let us do the first distribution in the joint c for that we have to add these two fixed end moments and then multiply with the distribution factors when we do that we are getting positive values so we have to enter them as negative now let us do the carry over for that we have to divide these values by 2 and enter the answers now let us do the second distribution in the joint b for that we have to multiply this value with the distribution factors when we do that we are getting negative values so we have to enter them as positive now let us do the second distribution in the joint c for that we have to multiply this value with the distribution factors when we do that we are getting positive values so we have to enter them as negative now let us do the carry over for that we have to divide these values by 2 and then enter the answers now let us do the third distribution in the joint b for that we have to multiply this value with the distribution factors when we do that we are getting negative values so we have to enter them as positive now let us do the third distribution in the joint c for that we have to multiply this value with the distribution factors when we do that we are getting positive values so we have to enter them as negative now let us do the carry over for that we have to divide these values by 2 and then enter the answers in the similar way we can do more distributions and carry overs until we are getting very smaller values i have done up to the fifth distribution because in the fifth distribution i am getting very smaller values in the last distribution we have to give the carry over only to the fixed ends now let us add all of the values and find the final moments after adding we will get the final moments now let us find the survey force yes we know that this is a symmetrical frame suppose if we remove this load there will be no survey it will be a non survey frame so this is the only force which causes the survey in this case we can directly take this force as the survey force and the survey force is acting towards the right side we have finished the non survey analysis now let us start the survey analysis in the survey analysis we have to remove all of the loads from the frame let us make the frame sway towards the right let us keep s dash as the force which causes the sway when the sway occurs in this frame this is the deformed shape now we can make a line connecting the points a and this point this point and this point and finally this point and the point d let us connect the joint b and this point and let us make a vertical line so that we will get a triangle let us keep the inclined distance as a delta and the vertical distance as a delta v we have to find delta v in the terms of delta this angle will be 90 degree so that this angle and this angle will be same suppose this angle is theta this angle also will be theta let us take this triangle in this triangle let us find sin theta sin theta will be equal to 3 upon 5 we will get 0 0.6 now let us take this triangle in this triangle let us find sin theta sin theta will be equal to delta v upon delta we can equate this and this when we do that we will get the relation delta v is equal to 0 0.6 delta now we can connect the joint c and this point and then make a vertical line and then a horizontal line so we will get one more triangle in this triangle this will be delta and this will be delta v since this is a symmetrical frame the dimensions of both of these triangles will be same 
So this height also will be 0 0.6 delta. For the member AB, we have to consider this displacement which is delta and for the member CD, we have to consider this displacement which is also delta. For the member BC, we have to take this displacement and this displacement. So we have to combine both of these triangles. We know that this is 0 0.6 delta and this is also 0 0.6 delta. So for the displacement of BC, we have to add both of these. When we add, we will get 1.2 delta. Now let us find the fixed end moments developed due to survey. The formula is 6EA delta upon L square. First let us find them in the members AB and CD because both of them are having the same moment of inertia and same length also having the same displacement delta. Since the survey occurs towards the right side, these four moments should be taken as negative. Length is 5 meter, let us apply that. The moment of inertia is 2i, so instead of i, we have to apply 2i. Let us keep ei delta is equal to 100. So for these four fixed end moments, we will get minus 48. Now let us find the fixed end moments in the member BC. In the left side, the displacement occurs downwards and in the right side, it occurs upwards. In this case, the fixed end moments should be taken as positive. We know that for the displacement of BC, we have to add these two. When we add 0 0.6 delta and 0 0.6 delta, we will get 1.2 delta. So in the formula, instead of delta, we have to apply 1.2 delta. Length of BC is 4. Let us apply that. Finally, for M of BC and M of CB, we will get 45. Now let us start making the moment distribution table. In the table, first let us enter all of the members, then the distribution factors, then the fixed end moments. Now let us do the first distribution in the joint B. For that, we have to add these two fixed end moments and then multiply with the distribution factors. When we do that, we are getting negative values. So we have to enter them as positive. Now let us do the distribution in the joint C. For that, we have to add these two values and then multiply with the distribution factors. When we do that, we are getting negative values. So we have to enter them as positive. Now let us do the carryover. For that, we have to divide these values by 2 and enter the answers. Now let us do the second distribution in the joint B. For that, we have to multiply this value with the distribution factors. When we do that, we are getting positive values. So we have to enter them as negative. Now let us do the second distribution in the joint C. For that, we have to multiply this value with the distribution factors. When we do that, we are getting positive values. So we have to enter them as negative. Now let us do the carryover. For that, we have to divide these values by 2 and then enter the answers. In the similar way, we can do more distributions and carryovers until we are getting very smaller values. I have done up to the fourth distribution. I have stopped in the fourth distribution because I am getting very smaller values. Now let us add all of the values and find the final moments. After adding, we will get the final moments. Now let us take the moments in AB and BA and find the reaction in the member AB. Both of these two moments are negative. That means both of them are acting in the anti-clockwise direction. Let us take moment about B and find RA. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 5. So 5 RA. These two moments are acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So both of them are negative. Finally for RA, we will get 18.734 kN. Now let us take the moments in CD and DC. 
and find the reaction in the member CD. Both of these two movements are negative. That means both of them are acting in the anticlockwise direction. To find RD, we can take movement about C. For RD, we will get 18.734 kN. Now in the frame, let us extend the members AB and CD up to a point where both of them meet. Let us keep the meeting point as O. Let us keep this point as O dash and this point as O double dash. We know that totally this distance is 3 plus 4 plus 3 so that it will be 10 meter. So in the left side we have 5 meter and on the right side we have 5 meter. We need to find the distance O O double dash. For the distance of 3 meter the height is 4 meter. So for 3 it is 4. But I need the height at the distance of 5 meter. So we have to multiply with 5. For O O double dash we will get 20 upon 3 meter. To find O O dash we have to subtract 4 from O O double dash. When we do that we will get 8 upon 3 meter. We need to find these two inclined distances. We know that both of them are same. At the distance of 3 meter, the inclined distance is 5. So for 3 it is 5. But I need the inclined distance at the distance of 5 meter. So we have to multiply with 5. When we do that, we will get the distance of OA and OD, which is 25 upon 3 meter. Now let us take a moment about the O and find the sway force S dash. This reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 25 upon 3. S dash is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 8 upon 3. The movements MAB and MDC are acting in the anticlockwise direction so both of them are negative. This reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 25 upon 3. Finally for S dash we will get 81.6725 kN. Now let us find the correction factor K. The formula is S upon S dash. We have found S and S dash. Let us apply both of them. Finally for K we are getting this. Now let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter all of the survey movements. Then we have to multiply the survey movements with the correction factor. When we do that, we will get these values. Then let us enter all of the non survey movements. To find the real final movements, we have to add these two. After adding, we will get the real movements. For MAB, MBA, MCD and MDC, we have got negative values. That means all of them are acting in the anticlockwise direction. For MPC and MCB, we have got positive values. That means both of them are acting in the clockwise direction. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. Now we are going to end the session. Thank you for watching this video